Rhodes Rants for Black and White Sports. Today, let's talk about this wild Tom Brady thing that kind of started leaking out last week, and today Adam Schefter really thrust it into the um, limelight, okay? And I noticed it last week. I meant to make a video. I missed it. And now it's it's been thrown back out there. So, this is by way of Nesson.com. Is Tom Brady's swan song in New England? Well, you'd be silly not to at least recognize the possibility exists. The Patriots quarterback has indicated plenty he hopes to play into his mid-40s. But between his new contract, which voids at the end of the season, coupled with him putting his Brookline house on the market, it seems to indicate that there's a chance this could be it for Brady and the Patriots. Now, whether he would retire or go to a different team, should 2019 be his last in Foxborough, is a totally different conversation. Appearing on the Greg Hill Show, ESPN insider Adam Schefter admitted the whole situation is very odd. Quote, well, his contract is going to be an issue that just hangs out there all year long. I'm not, I don't understand. The story initially broke that he had signed this contract, and everybody said, okay, it's a two-year extension. No, there's actually verbiage in it that voids the contract at the end of the year. So immediately I went, what? Because I knew that was going to be a talking point for everybody the rest of the season. And I didn't hear any discord in the negotiations. I'm not aware of any discord. I don't think that was a factor. I just think that, you know, people forget that people have lives, they have families, and sometimes you want to do what's best for your wife and kids. And Tom is 42 now, and I'm sure his family has sacrificed plenty to do what he's done. And to be dedicated as he is to his job and do it at this level. So again, if it's just me looking at it from the outside, I'm just reading the signs. His home's for sale. His contract voids. I mean, it's just saying. It's just saying that it has a lot of potential, one way or another, for this to be the last season in New England. He says, hmm, that's interesting. Again, we'll just see what he does. But I'm telling you, the elements are there. Did I say he was leaving? No. Did I say it was curious and interesting? Yes. Okay, so the question is, and something I want to point out in this, and I haven't heard anybody else bring it up. Has anybody noticed that, I'm just putting this out there, but in two weeks into the preseason, Jared Stenham, Jared Stenham looks like he's got potential at quarterback. And I have said, Bill Belichick wants to win without Brady. And I think to a lesser extent, I think Tom has some feelings in the same direction. I think he wonders, can I win without Bill? Okay? Because they're always going to be paired up. Now, my feeling is, paired up in history, my feeling is many, many quarterbacks have been paired with great head coaches. Okay? So... That's not unusual, but there's always been something to the fact that Brady has, there's a few fans out there that believe that Brady is a system quarterback. I find that ridiculous. I think he's far and away the greatest quarterback that's ever played. Joe Montana is second. You see, I'm a Niners fan. That was hard for me to admit, but when you go to nine Super Bowls and you win six of them, you're the greatest ever. But I think both parties have curiosity about what would happen without the other one, okay? And there are a lot of teams out there that have potential if Tom Brady wanted to go play one or two seasons somewhere else. The, the one that I think of immediately is Minnesota. The Minnesota Vikings, he's used to playing in cold weather, and there are two fantastic, maybe the best, receiving duo in the league in Diggs and Thielen. And a good tight end in Minnesota. That team is built to win a championship. And it just so happens nobody is quite sure what the hell Kirk Cousins is. Let us not forget, and I would be naive not to put this out there. John Lynch originally called the Patriots about trading for Tom Brady, not Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay? And people have said he wasn't kidding. Okay, and Bill said, well, what about Jimmy G? And he was like, oh, yeah, well, we'll take him if you don't want to trade Brady. Okay, so that's how that happened, actually. So I find it highly interesting. 
What could happen with Tom Brady? He put his puts his house up for sale. His contract voids at the end of the year when he wants to play three more seasons. And if this quarterback, Jarrett Stenham, turns out to be something, Bill may want to see what he can do as well. Okay? Or maybe Brady and Josh McDaniels has designs on going somewhere together. Okay? But there are some teams in the league that are sort of just don't have the quarterback or they don't quite know. Tennessee Titans, Mike Vrabel, an ex-Patriot, that is a good football team, but they're not sure about quarterback. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.